There are tons of people out there who constantly crack their knuckles. Regardless if they do it consciously or not, those people all say it gives them a relaxed feeling. Bystanders may think it's extremely gross and annoying. Their standard comment is, you will get arthritis or even rheumatism. Hence, here they finally are. All the answers you've always wanted to know about cracking your knuckles. Enjoy! In theory, every human can crack his or her fingers. But hardly anyone knows what really goes on underneath the skin. Even scientists and physiologists that conducted studies regarding cracking joints are not 100% sure. The following is the most widely accepted theory. Two bones meet at the joints of each finger. In the gap between the bones, there is synovial fluid, which is a gel-like substance that keeps the bones from directly grinding against each other. The liquid itself has CO2 in it, which usually remains a liquid due to the pressure in a joint's capsule. When you overstretch a finger, you actually pull the capsule apart and cause the pressure in it to drop low enough for the CO2 to turn into a gas in the shape of small bubbles. This process occurs very quickly and is the reason for the cracking sound. If you want to crack your fingers again, you will have to wait about 20 minutes until all the bubbles slowly turn back to liquid again. Physician Donald Unger is famous for his self-experiment in which he cracked the fingers of his left hand twice a day, but never those on his right, for over 60 years. He was trying to figure out for himself if cracking your fingers really does cause arthritis. Finally, the x-rays of his hands revealed that he did not have more arthritis in his left hand than in his right. So for him, knuckle cracking for decades did not cause any negative side effects. However, a different study conducted in 1990 found that cracking your fingers for a long period of time can lead to swellings and decreased strength in your fingers. The survey wasn't investigated any further and people say it lacks authenticity. Something you should keep in mind is that there can be pain involved in knuckle cracking because our joints crack for different reasons. The noise knees or ankles tend to make when you get up too quickly is caused by tendons that slip over bones or muscles when they are flexed. When the joint moves fast, the tendons will snap from one position to the next and make a popping sound. Thus, we can stick to the old common sense rule of thumb when it comes to knuckle cracking. If it starts to hurt, stop doing it. Alright guys and girls, how often do you crack your knuckles? Please let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, we'd be thankful for a thumbs up. That was it for today, see you next time, bye bye.